Hello, how are you? Today we've got A Diary of a Wombat. It's the cutest little book. My boy actually got this one um, from pre-primary. I think that was a few years ago. So it's about a fat little chubby wombat that just causes all sorts of trouble. Um, but it's also a really good one for scheduling. So the days of the week, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. So we've done some activities around that. So he basically digs holes, scratches his butt, digs up carrots, loves porridge, and he's training his humans every day. See, I'm trying not to knock things off the table. So he's banging and knocking at the door, chewing holes in the door, in the fence. He's just a little disaster, but he's so cute. So you have to read the book. It's a good one. So the activities we've got for this week, uh, we've got, I love this one. This is going to be pretty by the time it's done. We've got the months. So our months here, I haven't put it together. I will Velcro, I think, just because the pieces are fairly small. If you get the digital version, go ahead and print it in A3 if you can. So the months are going to sit down the side here. The days are going to sit on the days. There'll be five bits of Velcro here, dates here, weather here, seasons there. And then as we, well, today is, we'd put the day in. So what is today? I don't even know what the day is. Wednesday, right? Thursday. No, it's Thursday. Thursday, June. Today is the 23rd, maybe. I've got no idea. It's winter and outside it is actually clear with a bit of clouds. Sunny, we would call it. Um, I'll put that together soon and show you the photos. So let me shift all that over. But the, the colours are really pretty. I haven't cut these ones out yet just because I think it will be easier to Velcro them when they're in a strip. All right, so let's shift that over. This one I'm really looking forward to doing. The carrots were a bit of a pain in the butt to cut out. So we've got our garden here. We're going to cut the slits and then plant the carrots and then pull the carrots up like the wombat did. Yeah? So I'll do that one soon, show you when it's all sorted. I couldn't do a pack without a wombat in there. So we've got sensory wombat. So this one, if you want to go and add wool or bark or whatever on top of the color, um, if you want to color it in, paint it, you've got this one as well. So you can do finger painting, depends on what scrap materials, collage materials you've got lying around. So you've got both options there. So that's an extra activity we threw in. And then we've got the weekly schedule. I like this one too. It's pretty. So we've got morning, afternoon, evening, and night. This is really good. I mean, it's not going to work for a family one, but if you have one printed for each kid. Um, school is going to be, you know, this main chunk. Whether you want to call evening after school or afternoon. So you can put your after school sports, music, whatever else you've got going on there. Um, whatever you've got on the weekends, night. You can put routine stuff in there if you want to. If you want more routine stuff in order of what we do, have a look at our routines book. This is an overall where I'm going to be throughout the week. Yeah? So that one. And if you do it on the laminated, you can just wipe it clean. So you can write on there, wipe it clean each week. All right. Let me put that up there. Then we've got, no, I've done that one. So this one. Now, I'm not going to do the drawing for you. I got my little boy, Austin. He's not mine, but he'll be my next kid. Um, they feed us and we swap kids during the week. So he's done the cutting out for me. So we've got afternoon. Hang on. Sorry. We're going to cut out this and it will be like a pinwheel sort of thing. So we're going to tape that. So we've got morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Let me just stick them on. So authentically cut by a little person. Not my cutting this time. There we go. No, morning. Hang on. Evening. So the sun's tired. There you go. So we're going to tape these along where the word is. And then when we lift it up with the wombat, we're going to pick an activity that the wombat does each day and draw a picture. And then we're going to put the tabs over the top and then we're going to do it for our day. So morning, just pick one activity. Or if you've got an older child where they're good at drawing and happy to draw, um, then put that in there. If you want to cut and paste pictures, go ahead and do that. If you want to write it, go ahead and do that. Yeah. So morning, you may just choose breakfast. So we chuck breakfast in there. Afternoon, um, I don't know, whatever you do when you finish school, you might have basketball. Yeah. Evening, watch a movie. Nighttime, draw a, pillow, a picture of your teddy bear or your pillow or whatever, going to sleep. Yeah. And then, hang on, morning, night, then we put the tabs back on as well. So as far as this is a good one, um, you know, what you do throughout the day, being aware of the different times and orders. So we've got measurement in there, uh, but the wombat one as well, 
is comprehension as far as whether you pick a day. So each day tells you morning, afternoon, evening, whoops, there we go, and night. So you can pick a day and draw pictures for what he's done that day. Yeah. All right. I am going to go and I will do this in fast forward and I will come back with finished products. Talk to you soon. I know this one seems like a super simple activity, but we've actually, with the tracing, that's really good for fine motor skills. Um, pencil grip as well, if your little ones are over the age of four, otherwise you use chunky crayons or triangular markers. Uh, this one here, I've counted out 20, so you've got your spatial awareness there in fitting 20 across the wombat. I am counting as I go, and I'm up to 19. I'm also using that pencil grip. Yeah, so although it's simple, um, we've included quite a few different skills there just in that activity. All right, on this one, we are move the book out of the way. counting the carrots as we go. So we've planted 10. I'm going to dig them up like the wombat did. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten, and then you count as you plant them all again. A really good extension activity for this one, so you've got one that's your day and then one that's your wombats, is to then compare and contrast. So what does your day look like in the morning? Um, I haven't obviously filled these out yet, compared to wombats day. So if we look in the book for the morning, for most of it, he's going to be sleeping, yes? Which if you look at my preteen girl, she's going to love doing exactly the same thing. But you may have a kid that wakes up at five or six full of beans. They're going to be completely different. Yes, so you see your similarities and your differences. And then if we look at afternoon, it's a mildly cloudy day. So this is on Wednesday. Perfect for a dust bath. There you go. Now, depending on your kid, they may or may not sit, um, think that that's something fun to do as well. So if we go to our afternoon, you could have chosen dust bath there for your wombat. And then see what yours is. And if you like to do the same things in the afternoon, yeah, have fun with this one. It looks simple, but you can do quite a bit with it. All right. And it's an open ended as well in that you can choose your day and like the Wombat's day and your day. And they're going to be quite different from day to day as well. So we're bringing in those routines and um, yeah, just our daily routines. All right. I'm going to go to the next one. It's done. This one is a really good one for learning your months in order, as well as your days and seasons. We've got eight different types of weather here. Um, if you want to add more weather on there, just draw a little picture, laminate it and stick it on there. Um, you've got the dates here. There's an extra one for where you've got the 11th. There's an extra two for when you have the 22nd. Obviously, you're not going to need three twice because there's not the 33rd of the month. Um, so today's day is Thursday. It's June. 
it may or may not be the 23rd. Um, it's winter and it's sunny but still cold outside. So you saw there that I put extra Velcro on. So you can have two different weathers because it, it's not necessarily just one or the other. But this is a great one to do every morning, either in the classroom or stick it on your fridge. Um, like I said before, if you do have access to an A3 um, printer and laminator, this would look really good in A3 as well. All right, that is this pack done. I will see you soon.